telling you this is the biggest hack to get more protein in your life. How is that for some presentation? <sighs> Full beat, maybe a beat and a half. And no, I'm not talking about music. Let's go eat. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Sunday vlog. Forgive me for being in my swim trunks here in Newport Beach where the sun is shining in the summer is vibing. Whatever that's supposed to mean, today I want to finally fill you in. It's been a few weeks since I ended the marathon series. So I'm kind of getting back into normal quote unquote routine with my diet, with my training, and ultimately staying in quote unquote marathon shape. Lots of quotes here today, but obviously nothing inspirational, just being my normal weird quotational self. I don't really have a clue what I'm saying, but anyways, I want to show you exactly what I'm eating now that I'm back in this normal training regimen and go over kind of what I'm doing on a daily basis. It's not really going to be a day in the life video, rather showing you exactly what I'm eating and really the diet that works for me. When it comes to diets, there's every single freaking diet that you can imagine. There's the carnivore diet, the paleo diet, ketogenic diet, aka keto. There's high carb, low carb, medium carb, whatever carb. The I'm going to eat whatever's in sight diet. I whole 30 diet. The Atkins diet. You can tell I could probably keep going on and on, but the moral of the story is to find the diet that works best for you. And over the years, I've been testing pretty much everything that I possibly can. And I'm just kind of in this phase that I want to feel good. I want to look good and ultimately share that with you. Because if you can take something away from my diet, maybe you can feel good, look good and do good as well. So with that said, today is Thursday. I had an upper body day this morning. I, it's currently actually 12.15, so I'm back on my fasting regimen. I am fasting five to six days a week, which means I am stopping eating by 7 or 8 p.m. and then eating at 11 or 12 p.m. So obviously it's 12.15. I'm about to have my first meal, which obviously I'm gonna show you. I had my full upper, upper body day today and a five mile run. I'm doing about 30 to 35 miles of running per week, basically trying to make sure that I stay in running shape. Obviously, I still don't have my bike because it got stolen and that sucks, but I'm able to run as well. So I'm gonna keep doing the running and ultimately I'm probably gonna run another marathon. Wink, wink. I'm really bad at winking. but along with the workouts and the running. So the workouts, I'm really just doing, I'm going push, pull, legs, and then an upper body day and the lower body day. And then on the sixth day, I'm doing a very long run. So anywhere, and I say very, but it's really just like 10 to 15 miles, which I realize probably sounds like a lot to not the average quote unquote runner, but that is what I'm doing. Then I have a kind of active rest day on the last day, which is just walking around, getting some sunshine, stretching, whatever it might be. So. With that said, today was my upper body day. Five, well, excuse me. Didn't mean to burp on camera. Uh. Excuse me again. But with that said, let's jump into it. Let's go into our first freaking meal because I'm hungry, I'm running low on energy. Just kidding, I'm not really running low on energy. Let's go eat. So as I said, I am back on the fasting deal, which is essentially a 16 hour window of fasting. Sometimes I go more and I find that I am more productive. I am more mentally clear. I actually have more energy. And if you can get through that first initial like week or two of trying the intermittent fasting window where you're only eating in that eight hour period, I bet you'll find these benefits too. So I'm breaking my fast with this meal. I'll show you right now. All I've had this today is pre-workout, which really wasn't even pre-workout. It was just my rain and then SST support burn, which is L-carnitine, as well as black coffee. So here's the meal. I have a pound of 93% lean ground beef. Of course, it's grass fed. We're going to have a cup of, actually, no, we're going to have two thirds 
three-fourths cup of Greek yogurt, non-fat. We'll throw a scoop of protein in there. Shout out Performix Whey Protein. Use code NICK30. It's incredible. Then we'll put a cup of blueberries in there. We'll go kimchi in the ground beef. And then we'll go a two rice cakes with a little bit of honey and cinnamon. I'll explain further in a second. Boom. I forgot to mention, I also break my fast with my greens powder that I'm still working on. Eyeballing September, maybe the end of the year. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Plus Performix BCAAs, I'll show you. Just to get a little recovery aspect in there, help the protein synthesis, and ultimately get my nutrients, micronutrients, from the greens powder. Just a little sneak peek for you. A little Performix action with by Nick Walker, because this is my formula. Boom. Plus the recovery BCAAs, juicy watermelon. It's absolutely incredible. I love the mix with the mixed berry plus the watermelon. It tastes so good. All right, so I'm just whipping up the ground beef right here. It is literally just 93% ground beef, which if I'm gonna recommend anything, I would say anything above 90 is great. And then I'm adding some Celtic sea salt here, as well as some turmeric, ground turmeric for the anti-inflammatory aspects and properties of the turmeric. I like to go pretty heavy on the turmeric. And a little fun fact for you with the turmeric, if you add ground pepper to it, it will help activate those ingredients a little more effect effect effectively, efficiently, uh, whatever you want to call it. Just add pepper to your turmeric. All right, this obviously isn't that hard to make. You just put a scoop of your favorite protein powder into Greek yogurt. I promise it's a little tough to mix, but, and it sounds kind of gross. I also like this with cottage cheese, but you just got to get the technique down. A little, little stir around the edges to mix it in, fold it in, kind of. And then once you fold it all in, it'll be this nice pudding-like texture. And I'm telling you, this is the biggest hack to get more protein in your life. It's literally like 40 grams of protein between the protein powder and the Greek yogurt. And it's literally like eating freaking ice cream. And the final product, here we are. Nothing crazy, nothing presentationally exceptional. Wow, that was an incredible word choice. I should be an English professor. The two rice cakes lightly salted with some honey and some cinnamon. We've got the pound of grass-fed ground beef. We've got a few tablespoons of kimchi in there for microbiome gut health. It also just helps your body break down that meat a little bit more because that's a lot of meat. Plus the Greek yogurt with whey protein powder, a cup of blueberries, honey and cinnamon, black coffee, greens, and BCAAs. We're looking at about, uh, that's probably 900 calories. That's like, we'll call it nine, 990. Then this is probably another 190. It's probably all in, if I'm really doing the math, like 1200 calories, but I'll provide all of the calories, micronutrients, blah, blah, blah. Probably not all that, because that's a lot of work, but at least all the calories at some point. All right, that's enough of my hand. Bye. Well, that's the end of that. Nothing, 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 nothing. Time to go work film some stuff, and then I'll be back for meal number two. Just a, just a heads up, I really only do like three meals a day. That's what I feel good doing. I had this meal, I'll probably wait about two hours. I like to space my meals out at least two to three hours. We'll come back with some more food. Ah, all right, I am back a roomy i guess i can take my shades off just outside getting a little tan maybe a little bit too much as you can tell i changed shorts because i just made a goofy little video for summer vibes as you've probably already seen on my instagram with the little dancey dance 
in my pantsy pants for the summer. Anyways, I was thinking as I was doing some work out there that I didn't really describe what my diet is. And I think it would be beneficial just to tell you kind of the overarching, like, I don't know what to call it, like how I, my philosophy, I think that's probably the best way and why it feels good for me. So let's break this down in the most simple way possible. I fast for 16 hours. I then have a light meal, as you saw, we're about to have our next meal. Then we have a big meal, quote unquote. It's really, it's, it's kind of the same relatively because I'm a big person. And then I have a dinner. So that's the premise of how many meals. But I tend to go high protein, high, high, high protein, pretty high to moderate fat, and then pretty low carb. As you saw in the last one, I had two rice cakes, which was like 16 grams of carbs. And then I had a cup of blueberries, which is not many. It is carbs. It's got fructose, which is sugars, which are carbs. And then later on tonight, I'll have my veggies. And fundamentally, besides that first meal, I always have two servings of some kind of veggie. So this next meal, I'll have some kale. I'll have some eggs. I'll have some deer sausage and... I guess, fundamentally, I don't have a veggie in that one. Oh, and an avocado, but I guess that's a fruit. And then for dinner, I will have a meat, a lean meat, I think tonight's salmon, and then I'll have two servings of veggies, which is also carbs. So, fundamentally, why? Because it works for me. What do I mean by does, how it works? Like, why does it work for me? Well, my energy feels good. I don't feel bloated. I feel full. I feel satiated. I don't feel like I have cravings. I, you know, I, I've, I've toyed with all these other diets and for a sustainability aspect, it's just easy for me to keep those kind of core principles. And if I'm on the road, really the goal is just to keep, get as much protein in as possible and limit the carbs because generally when you're on the road, you're going to eat not as great food, which means there's probably going to be more carbs anyways. So I kind of live my life in this like balanced, like predetermined balance in a way that I'm always kind of low carb. And then I know because I travel so much, it's probably going to get a little balanced out if that makes any sense. But I still try to make those conscious decisions. So without writing a book on this YouTube video with these clips, maybe you're taking some value. I don't know. But it's time for me to shut up and make my next meal. As I said, we're going eggs. We are going always go pasture raised. That is, if we take anything, pasture raised instead of cage free and not pasture eyes. Then we're gonna go some deer sausage. They're gonna cook these bad boys. Really lean meats right there. We're also gonna go, hello veggies. I told you I have a lot of veggies. And we're gonna go with kale. That's upside down, so it's fall out. Boom. And then, oh, there's some leftover steak. And then, what else do I want? Oh, wow, that was loud. An avocado. Here's another random thing for you. I cook with coconut oil most of the time because the smoke point is the highest. I don't like really any other oils. If anything, sometimes I'll go some grass-fed butter. It has to be grass-fed or ghee butter. Ghee. G-H-E-E. -E. Ghee. Ghee butter can taste a little weird, so definitely try that in moderation to start. But here's my coconut oil as we get ready to make our sausages. I'm actually not going to show you me making it because I don't want this video to be an hour and seven minutes long. How is that for some presentation compared to the last one? Let me know in the comments what you what you would grade this. Give me a an A plus, A minus, F minus, whatever you want. But we got four eggs cooked in coconut oil with turmeric, garlic salt, and pepper. We've got a little lemon juice on my avocado and pepper. Then we've got some kale I sauteed just kind of in some coconut oil. Then I got some balsamic vinegar on there. And then we've got a deer sausage. And, uh, actually, a beer and cheddar deer sausage. So venison, super lean meat, lots of protein, fats, more fats, dark leafy greens for some good micronutrients because I love it. And it's a super food. And, uh... Meal number two complete. And if I gotta be honest, I'm still, I'm not, it's not that I'm hungry, 
but it's the fact that I really, really, really want something sweet. So I'm trying to muster up the discipline to tell my inner voice no. I mean, I don't have anything sweet in here besides like a protein shake, but I just don't need it. I know I don't need it. And I have a craving, so it probably just means I'm just gonna go on a walk, drink some water, and I'll probably be fine by the end of the walk. So if you have cravings, go for a walk, brush your teeth, do something, change it up. But uh, I'm gonna go knock some more workout. It's 4.15, I know I have a weird eating schedule, but then I'm gonna come back, cook my dinner, then have my protein shake that cures my sweet tooth because I'm a weirdo and that's my ice cream every night. Um, got a healthy ice cream. I mean, it is healthy. I don't know why I'm putting more quotation marks, but uh, anywho, I'm gonna turn the camera off. See you soon. And we're back. Time for dinner. I've got the oven preheating at 400 degrees. I'm just realizing this might be the last vlog that I film in my house because I'm moving. And then it's all vlogs on the road, how to eat on the road, and lots of travel. So look forward to that, but in the meantime, let's get dinner going. What we got? Nice and simple. Salmon, broccoli, beets. Got a nice sugary starch in here. It'll turn your, uh, what do you call it? Poop? Red. And then, obviously, some good fibers as well. Help the gut digestion. Good fats and lots of protein. And the final product. You gotta admit, that transition was kind of cool. Right? Come on. Well, presentation could definitely be a lot better. Not as good as my uh, second meal, but again, here's the uh, normal dinner for meal three. Two servings of veggies. It's really like four servings because I'm a large human, but this is like two cups of broccoli, probably a cup and a half, probably a full beet, maybe a beet and a half. And no, I'm not talking about music. And then obviously a huge salmon filet. Why does it look so disgusting? Like there's like a million ants on there? Well, that's just dill. And put a little lemon juice, a little dill, salt, pepper, and a little bit of honey drizzled all over it. So uh, I'm gonna eat up. All right, dinner's done. It's time for my sweet tooth. If you've seen any of my day in the life type videos before, you know this is how I like to end my day. I've got a banana in here, which is really generally kind of the only carb I get. I think a banana is like, what, 27 grams of carbs. I've got a scoop of whey protein, vanilla protein. This is literally one of the best formulas on the market and it's sugar free. 24 grams of protein, 110 calories, literally virtually nothing else. And then I've got almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. So pop this thing on the blender drink up and that will conclude my day in the life of eating minus the day in the life it's just what i eat in a day also shout out performix obviously as always use code nick30 save 30 percent well, well, it's already pretty cheap so save even more money with a good formula Oh, and one last thing. I always take a shot of Bailey's before bed. No, I'm just kidding. This is uh, just my decoration because it's the first bottle of liquor I drink in this house. But, uh, cheers. Ah, I literally look forward to it every single freaking night. And with that said, I appreciate you watching. I hope you took something away. I want to reiterate that this is the diet that works for me. There is no one size fits all diet. I just like how simple this is. I'm able to kind of have a good relationship with food. I feel good. And ultimately, that's what it's about. It's about feeling good and trying to find every way possible, not only in movement, but in diet and how you fuel your body. Whatever you put in, your body is going to put out for you. So again, this is what works for me. I enjoy it. If there's something that you take away, awesome, great, let me know. If not, oh well, I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. But that said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're the first one to see my videos, see what I eat, see what I do. 
whatever else. Appreciate you watching. Have an awesome freaking time. Awesome freaking time. Awesome freaking day. I'll see you next time. And don't forget to smile. Awesome.